Well, over in the Constitutional Court of Korea, the proceedings on President Park Geun-hye's impeachment case is making headway as a top court swiftly requests for key documents and evidence for review. Our Oh Soo-young has the latest. The Constitutional Court has asked for certified investigation records held by the Seoul District Court and the prosecutor's office on the ongoing Chesunshi scandal. The request for entrustment was made on Friday, following the Constitutional Court's first preparatory hearing into the impeachment trial against President Park Geun-hye, where it discussed how the proceedings should take course. The court has also asked the presidential office to provide specific details on the president's activities and whereabouts during the Herald of Ferry disaster in 2014, which killed more than 300 people, most of them high school students. The president's unaccounted absence of seven hours during the ferry sinking is one of the main grounds raised for her impeachment. So far, the Constitutional Court has accepted for review all 52 pieces of evidence submitted on Thursday by the National Assembly and the presidential office of Chongade. Also, three witnesses have been selected to testify at the impeachment trial. The woman at the centre of the scandal, Che sun and former presidential secretaries, An jong Bom and Chong ho To speed up the trial procedure, the court decided to divide the charges against President Park, which totals 13, into five categories. Violation of the Constitution, abuse of authority, infringement of press freedom, breach of the right to life and criminal offences. Experts say the move will likely accelerate the trial procedure. What's more significant is that four out of five categories are constitutional offences and only one specifies criminal charges. While the criminal charges require specific details in regards to when, where and in what form an offence was carried out, not to mention they could be tied to special investigations or district court rulings, constitutional charges can be handled independently by the Constitutional Court. The next preparatory hearing will be held on Tuesday, December 27th. Oh Soo-young, Arirang News.